Chennai's first ever Binale transformed railway stations and public parks into art galleries. For three weeks, photographs of 164 artists from around the world dotted the city in 20 locations. Bringing art photography commonly accessible to common people, yes, it is very much needed. I mean, come on, you've come to an MRTS. Where do you see art or photography? The Lighthouse Railway Station had a special theme, urban water in Chennai. Fifteen emerging photographers worked for nine days, documented access to water across the city, from challenges of transporting and delivering drinking water to the toxic sewage that runs across the city. Also reactions of children to the tsunami and life of the fisher folk. How polluted waters and how different polluted waters create different results. And it's a very interesting kind of result because what it does is lets you understand very physically what this water is like and how. And these are the people who live by the canal, you know, who live by the river. So this is their own. You can see how they are also eroding because of this dirty water supply. It takes a toll on everybody, I think. Chennai's popular lung space, the Nageshwara Rao Park, transported visitors to the world of surrealism. Well-known Yannick Cornier curated works of seven award-winning photographers from around the world. African photographer Dennis Dio on the struggles and beauty of Ghana's fishing community. These students loved the Indian studio portraits of the 70s reflecting aspirations of the people at the times. Uh, actually, everyone has to see. It's compulsory because all photos was uh, really amazing. And I think it was in a, uh, no, sorry, a very rare collection. Private galleries like this also joined hands. Son of the soil photographer Madhavan Paliswami's collection in dreams gives shape to subconscious dreams. For him, it was a rare opportunity to showcase his creations and exchange notes with others. A new school of art greets visitors at the busy Tiruvannamayu railway station. Photographs clicked by special children with Down syndrome and underprivileged girls, mentored and curated by Suchi Kapoor. Why must they always get left out? I'm, I mean, underprivileged children also must get the opportunities. But I think with special children, what happens is that everybody thinks that they're probably not going to be able to do it or they don't have the confidence or the understanding. But they showed exemplary results.